All right. Good morning, Sherwood. It's great to see you again and have the opportunity to connect with you. I hope you had a great week. Uh, it's fantastic to be able to look outside and see the beautiful sunshine. I know all of us are so much more grateful now that we're going through this difficult time to, to have the sun out, especially the last few weeks. It uh, feels like there's been more rain and, and, and gray days than there has sun. So hope you've gotten outside this weekend. I wanted to give a big thank you, a big shout out to our staff and students and and families, all of you that expressed your kind words and, and support uh, to me on Friday for, for National Principals Day. Again, the feeling is mutual. I'm so grateful and so blessed to work in such a positive, supportive community. I feed off of your energy. I feed off of your enthusiasm each and every day. Uh, and so again, thank you so much for your support. I want to give a big thank you to our students for continuing to connect with me and sharing your talents with me every day your music, your poems, your stories, just saying hello. Uh, it means the world to me that you continue to do that. So keep it coming, and I look forward to continuing to connect with you uh, over the next few weeks. Um, I wanted to thank our staff for their ongoing enthusiasm and support of your children. I know how difficult it is as an educator right now to try to balance our professional life with our personal life and our own families. So again, big thank you to our staff for doing that. And lastly, we want to thank our parents, again, for your ongoing support of your child and for supporting us uh, during these difficult times. Special thanks to our parents who filled out the survey this past week. Looking forward to uh, taking that information and finding ways that we can support, continue to support you and your family with our remote learning. Uh, in my messaging this week, I talked about a few things. One uh, was a quote from Albert Einstein in which he talks about learning from the past living for today and hoping for the future. And I think that's a really important reminder for all of us today as we struggle to find uh, how we're going to you know, get ourselves through these difficult times. And a lot of times we look at the past, right? We look at history to say, how are we going to get through this? What mistakes do we made? Do we make in the past? How are we going to go forward? I think we also look at the present moment and we try, to, we try to stay present to think about how we can just be grateful for what we have. And then we also want to look forward, right? We want to be hopeful, whether that's looking for, forward to the sun, whether it's looking forward to the summer, or whatever the case may be. Another quote I shared this week was about being a superhero and finding that inner superhero, right? Especially to our students, thinking about what talent do you have and sharing that with everyone that you come into contact with. But I think the most important thing we can share with people is our kindness, right? And I encourage our students each and every day to do that, and I look forward to them to do that with all of us. So thank you for that. And then the last book, and the last quote was uh, from Charles Schultz, who was the, the uh, writer for Peanuts. And he talks about here in the book of life, the answers aren't in the back. And I think that's so important right now, as I think all of us wish we had the answers, right? We wish we knew why this was happening and how we were going to get through it. I think all we can do right now is work together, support each other, and know that we will get through this together. Uh, and we're becoming stronger as a result of it. Some updates this week. If you haven't had an opportunity to look at the placement letter and provide some information to us for your child next year, please make sure you do that. The deadline for that is this Friday, May 8th. Secondly, just a reminder that the building still remains closed for students. Please know that as soon as I find information about when we will open the buildings for students, I will let you know that. But we will be offering an opportunity for students to do that before the end of the year. And lastly, uh, know that we're working on thinking about how we can provide virtual opportunities for our students to celebrate the end of the year and virtual opportunities for our students that are both coming into the school and leaving the school uh, to help them with that transition. Uh, with that, I want to wish everyone a great rest of your weekend. Uh, continue to stay connected to me for updates, and I look forward to seeing everyone soon. Take care.